हेलो बच्चों लेट्स रीड दिस क्वेश्चन अ मेटालिक रॉड ऑफ मास पर यूनिट लेंथ 0.5 केजी पर मीटर इज लाइंग हॉरिजॉन्टली ऑन अ स्मूद इंक्लाइंट प्लेन व्हिच मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ 30 डिग्रीज विद द हॉरिजॉन्टल द रॉड इज नॉट अलाउड टू स्लाइड डाउन बाय फ्लोइंग अ करंट थ्रू इट व्हेन अ मैग्नेटिक फील्ड ऑफ इंडक्शन मैग्नीट्यूड 0.25 टेस्ला इज एक्टिंग ऑन इट इन द वर्टिकल डायरेक्शन We need to find the current flowing through the rod to keep it stationary. ठीक है बच्चों, let's draw this scene. We know there is an inclined plane. There is an inclined plane with the base angle given as 30 degrees. We have a wire, wire over here on the inclined plane, and there is a vertical magnetic field of magnitude b. ठीक है तो वी कैन वी नो द मास इज गोइंग टू पुल इट डाउनवर्ड्स बाय सम फोर्स एम जी वी आर अज्यूमिंग दिस वायर लेंथ टू बी वन यूनिट ऑल राइट एंड नाउ वी वांट दिस वायर टू स्टे इन इक्विलिब्रियम दैट इज इट हैज टू बी हियर इट शुड बी स्टेशनरी सो देर इज गोइंग टू बी अ नॉर्मल फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो देर इज अ नेट फोर्स इन दिस डायरेक्शन राइट since this component is going to get cancelled there is a net force in this direction so we need a force which can counter this since the force due to a magnetic field on a current carrying conductor will be perpendicular to the magnetic field we can have the force in this direction we know all the three things the current the direction of the current the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the force due to a magnetic field is going to be perpendicular to each other using the right hand thumb rule the maxwell's right hand thumb rule we can determine the direction of the current we can see that if the current is coming towards the user that is the current i is going to be outwards towards the viewer then the force will be towards left as shown in the diagram so now we need to balance the forces so we have a force b this is a free body diagram of this point we have a force mg and there will be a normal force in this direction so we need to balance the force which is perpendicular to the normal force right so since the base angle is 30 we can say this angle is also going to be 30 since it's the same angle and this is a 90 degree angle we know this is the plane of the inclined plane so this is going to be 90 degrees this whole angle is going to be 90 degrees 90 minus 30 this angle becomes 60 degrees and again fb and mg are also at 90 degrees so this angle becomes 30 degrees so we can take the component of force due to the magnetic field and the gravitational force along this line the inclined plane so we will get fb cos 30 is going to be equal to mg sin 30 sin 30 ठीक है बच्चों तो यहां पे हमें इसका वैल्यू पता है वी नो एफ बी इज इक्वल टू नथिंग बट आई एल क्रॉस बी बट इन दिस केस एल एंड बी आर इन परपेंडिकुलर डायरेक्शन सो क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ईल्ड्स नथिंग बट एल बी so let's substitute this over here we will get ilb cos 30 is going to be equal to mg sin 30 theek hai bachcho on rearranging these terms we can get i is equal to nothing but m by l multiplied by g sin 30 divided by b cos 30 so let's substitute these values m by l is nothing but the mass per unit length so we can write this as 0.5 the value of g we know is going to be 9.8 sin 30 is 1 by 2 we know the value of b is given as 0.25 and cos 30 is root 3 by 2 which simplifies to 0.866 So on cancelling 0.25 and 0.5 we get a value of 
and two and this two can get cancelled. So finally we have 9.8 divided by 0 0.866 which on solving gives the value around 11.32 amperes. So this is the answer which we were looking for. Uh, let's check the options. 7.14 is the first option. This is incorrect. 5.98 is also incorrect. 14.76 is incorrect. Option D says 11.32. So this is the right answer. I hope you understood the solution I have given here. Final answer is option D. Thank you very much.